Hey, it's Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. A little different video than I usually do. This is for the new game, Spirit, Lucky's Big Adventure. This is from Outright Games. They actually gave me a download code so that I could play this on my Xbox. It is a game that is out for Xbox, for the Nintendo Switch, for the PS4, and also for PC uh, as well. Um, again, it's from Outright Games. They gave me a free code so I could review it. And I figured I'd bring us through a little bit of the game, show you kind of the controls, how it works, and stuff like that. I am going to start from the beginning. Basically, what this is, um, Lucky finds a, a treasure map, and she and her friends, Abigail and Prue, go on an adventure with the Mustang Spirit. Uh, from the DreamWorks show Spirit. Uh, it's on Netflix, and um, basically, it's uh, it's an adventure game uh, for kids. And so, uh, you know, if you're a parent and you're thinking of a, a game for your uh, daughter or son uh, who is a fan of Spirit, this would be a great game for them. So I'm going to start a brand new game, get in there, and we'll it'll kind of show the different controls, how it works, and how you interact with spirit and the world around. Uh, it's a fairly like open world where you can explore with spirit. You can gallop all over the place and we'll, we'll see exactly what we can do with this. Uh, the game came out on June 1st and um, it's rated E for everyone. Okay? So here we go. So we're kind of getting a little overview. So we're hearing from Lucky, and we start off at um, her house. So she's at her house. So well, she will be in a moment. Um, okay, she's at her house. And uh, there's like, you know, this is like the beginning before we actually get into the, the actual game part. Um, so she is there with her, her dad, Jim, and uh, they're going through some stuff. So not all of it is voiced. So like, morning, Dad. Uh, good morning, Sweet Pea. What's all this? Well, it's a bit of spring cleaning. That your Aunt Cora reminded me I'd put off for a few springs now. Ooh, that's so pretty. What is it? That was your mom's. That's where she put some of her keepsakes from El Cerco dos Grillos. I hope I got this right. I'd forgotten it was up there. Oh, can I look inside it, please? I brought it down just for you. But what do you say you take care of your chores first? Okay, I guess so. So... There are things that Lucky has to do in order to, you know, it's it's an adventure thing. It's almost like, you know, if you're playing like a, uh, uh, a Dungeons and Dragons thing, you have to go off and like, you know, take care of things for other people. And you're always running different errands and chores. So she's going to go try and finish her chores pretty fast. And then we'll get into actually playing the game part of it. So just get a little load scene here and... I mean, the graphics are pretty good, um, like the like the show. So you know, it was pretty close to the show, uh, almost like you know, very much like a cartoon. So she's done some chores, but now we finally get to actually do some of the the movement around the around the game. Okay, so she's almost done. Just need to pump some water. Okay, so this is just going to tell us uh, some of the controls. So left stick to move and right stick to look around. And like, pretty much like any open world game. And then also use the hamburger to open uh, Lucky's Diary. Okay. So we'll just kind of look around the world. And we're going to move Lucky over to the water trough. And then when you want to interact with the water pump, we're going to use the B button. Alright. So just hit B as soon as we get into the little circle there. Now the horses will be able to refresh themselves. Okay. And she sees something over here. And what's this? So, I'm going to tell you, her dad is super forgetful. There are things of his, like, all over the place we have to go find. So, Lucky can pick up objects with the B button. So, we're going to pick up this object. And uh, here are the collectibles. Every time one's found, you know, it's saved here. So, you, you look in the diary. This is her dad's pocket watch. You know, again, this guy's forgetful. So, oh, this is dad's pocket watch. He must have dropped it by mistake. Yep, he did. Okay, now, we can also call Spirit to come to us. So if we're anywhere, we can just say, call Spirit, and Spirit will come over. So Spirit was off in the, in the field, and Lucky calls Spirit over. 
And of course, this is the major special bond here of the game is Lucky and Spirit. You know, they are inseparable. Okay, Lucky can mount Spirit when standing next to him. You can refill Spirit's empty horseshoes with a hug from Lucky. So the horseshoes empty out when we have uh, when we run with Spirit. So we're gonna go over here to Spirit. We're gonna get on Spirit, and then there's a compass around the top of the screen, so you can see the compass. And we are gonna head towards Dad. And if we want to go faster, we can hold the B button down, and Spirit will gallop. All right, use Sprint when riding Spirit for a speed boost. Okay, just like they just said. Uh, horses, show your stamina. Using Sprint consumes horseshoes. Horseshoes restores quickly. Um, don't use up all Spirit's horseshoes or he'll get tired. So, you know, Spirit will get tired, but we're going to go. And Spirit can also jump when running. Um, and actually, Spirit will automatically jump if you head towards something that, you know, otherwise Spirit would have, uh, you know, run into. So, Spirit does just jump automatically sometimes, but you can also make Spirit jump. Let's go, Spirit. So, we're going to run, run, run. And we're running up uh, through Madero. Miradero? Miradero? I, mean, I don't know if I... I must have missed that part. Um, vault to leap over fences and other objects. Spirit jumps over fences automatically, like I said. So, we get near that fence. He's going to jump. There we go. Let's take a shortcut to see Dad. Lucky can dismount Spirit when he's standing still. All right, now all I gotta do is stand still and get off of Spirit. Let's give Spirit a hug. All right, are we close enough? We can give Spirit a hug, and that restores all of Spirit's uh, horseshoes, so that Spirit can then run faster. Okay, so Spirit can gallop again at full horseshoes. So Lucky can talk to characters. That have that icon of talking. Hey, Dad. Just hey, gonna Dad. talk to Dad. Look what I just found at the stable. Oh, my pocket watch. Thanks, Lucky. I've been looking for it all morning. Now I can. Can I go look what? Uh, look what's inside Mom's box. Unless you want to help your old man with some of his chores. I'm kidding. Go on. All right. So now she can interact with the the box. All right, I did it. And this is where the real adventure begins. Because as she opens up this box, she finds some stuff inside. When I opened the box, I was expecting to find old circus flyers. Maybe a photo of my mom and Ecorius. Or postcards from the places that she's performed in. What I did not expect to find was a genuine, honest to goodness, treasure map. Alright, so she finds this treasure map inside of the box. And this is where the adventure begins. Because... She's going to go on an adventure to find the treasure. Mom had a hidden treasure map among her things. What could it lead to? Maybe the treasure was neat stuff she collected when she traveled to the circus. I knew she had visited many places. I wish I could have asked her about them. I had so many questions for her. Maybe the treasure had the answers to some of them. Who knew? Whatever it was, the first thing I had to do was tell Prue and Abigail about the map. Okay, so now we're going to enlist the help of her friends, and that means... Hopping back on Spirit and riding into town. Now this is the diary, and every time you get new things, collectibles and stuff like that, you can see it in the diary. Now if we want to ax, oops, nope, we don't want to crouch. She can, she can crouch. Um, if we want to go to the um, the diary, this will tell you what your active quests are. Talk to Abigail near your home, and then you know what's next. But we can also go in here, and this will show you collectibles. And then this is the main. Uh, information there. So if like if I wanted to lower the music, I can lower that music there, and sound effects and stuff like that. So let's confirm that information. Let's get down here, and, and let's go back. Okay. So we're gonna hop on Spirit. Spirit's empty horseshoes refill when he drinks water. So he can drink water, or you can give him a hug. All right, so let's get let's get rolling with spirit. Let's go, spirit, and we're gonna get down and find Abigail. And so you can see Abigail on the compass, and you can also see her under that tree over here. And what I have not figured out is how to stop spirit really fast. Um, but we'll talk to Abigail. All Hi, right. Abigail. So we get a lot of hey, talking from uh, Lucky. 
But we don't get talking from the other characters. So good morning, Lucky. And always Spirit talks too. And good morning to you too, Spirit. Look what I just found. Oh, wow, Lucky. This is a very nice drawing of a dog playing a tuba? Oh no, I see. It's a girl playing hopscotch with a buffalo. What? No, Abigail. Look again. It's a treasure map. A treasure. Oh wow, that's even more exciting than a dog playing a tuba. Of course it is. Yeah, I found it in an old box. I think my mom left it there for me to find. Do you think it'll be precious stones? Maybe a chest full of diamonds, or rubies, or sapphires, and emeralds? There's also topaz, lapis, lo la lazuli, jade, amber. All right, all right. But I don't think so. Why would mom have a chest full of precious stones? Isn't it obvious? She was a pirate before she joined the circus. I think you're letting your imagination run a little wild. Well, whatever it is, if this treasure belonged to your mom, we have to go find it. Exactly what I was thinking. Come on, let's go show Prue. So she enlists the help of Abigail, Abigail and Boomerang, and now they're going off to see their friend Prue. And we're going to ride into town. And, you know, going to head down into town. Let's give a little speed boost here. Zip through. And now these um, little circle things kind of show you what to, what to do next. And, you know, a little cutscene in between. And, uh, and then they see this dude walk by. And immediately, like, I don't watch the show, but immediately I'm like, oh, the guy's got a goatee. And he looks nefarious, so he's probably a bad dude. Uh-oh, what's Hendrix doing back in town? I don't know, but I sure don't like seeing him with all those ropes. Look like he might be trying to catch some wild horses. Oh, so he's a rustler. I better not try anything with spirits hurt. He better not try anything with spirits hurt again. Oh no, he might try to catch spirit. Come on, Hendrix couldn't even dream of catching spirit. He's too fast for him, aren't you, boy? <laughs> Yes, Spirit gets some lines. We better keep Spirit and Boomerang close by, just in case. You're right. Never hurts to be extra careful. So, now we have a bad dude in uh, the game, and we have to contend with him at some point. So, we're going to keep on... We're going to keep on riding through town, and we're looking for Abigail. I mean, a Prue. We're looking for Prue. We have Abigail with us. So, and there's Prue over there. And... You don't actually have to go to those little circles. Those show you how to get to places. But sometimes they do offer cutscenes too. So we're riding up here, talking to Prue. <coughs> Boomerang gets in line too. Wait till you see what we've got. Morning. What is it? Okay, an old piece of paper. I've got hundreds of, the, hundreds of these at home. No, silly. It's a treasure map that Lucky found. Shh. It's a secret, Abigail. We don't want other people looking for the treasure. Oh, right. Sorry. Shh. No way. A real treasure map? Let's see. Let me see. Hmm. I don't recognize any of these places. Have you ever heard of Crow's Nest Hill? Never have. Me neither. We'll have to go ask someone who knows the whole area really well. My dad. He always go used to go exploring with my mom before I was born. Maybe he knows about the treasure. Shh, Abigail. Someone's going to hear you. E right. Sorry. Sorry. What are we waiting for? Let's go ask your dad about Crow's Nest Hill. I'm on it. Hey, but Lucky, what? Remember, not to spill the beans about the treasure. We don't want someone else to find it. No worries, Abigail. I'll be super extra careful. Okay, so we've talked to Prue. We've talked to Abigail. All right, I did it. And now we get this map of the surroundings. This is going to be very helpful because there are a lot of things that we're going to need to do. Here you can see the main landmarks and instantly travel to them. So we get to fast travel, which is good. Uh, you can choose to arrive by day or night. Okay? So if we take a look here... What we have to do next is go talk to Dad. So we are going to go to the map. And on the map, we can head over to Jim's house. So you can go up and down here, or you can, you know, go into the map and uh, choose. So we're going to go to Jim's house. We're going to arrive at daylight. And we're going to get to go see Dad. And we don't have to run back and forth through town, which is good. All right. Yes, you are, because you're there. All right. So we're going to walk over to Dad. And we're going to talk to Dad. Hey, Dad. So. Hi, Dad. Are you okay? Oh, hey, Lucky. I'm fine. I just have no idea where I put my ha down my hammer. Dude, this guy is super forgetful. I could swear I had it just a moment ago. You want me to help you find it? You know, I think maybe I left it by the bulletin board in the main square. Why are you bringing your hammer down to the bulletin board in the main square? Like, and you forget it. Because we need to do little tasks. Okay, so we go, we talk to Dad. We don't even tell him about the treasure map because we have to go get the dude's hammer. And we're going to go right on there with Spirit as fast as we can down into town again. 
So it also, I think what this is doing is also giving us a little bit of some of the controls on how to ride and places to go with Spirit. So we stop here, we hop out, here's the bulletin board, and we grab the hammer. Okay, great, we've got the hammer. Now, let's get back on Spirit, let's open the diary, and we will go back to fast travel. And we're gonna go back to Jim's house, and we'll arrive at daylight. Okay, so we're going back to Dad, because we've got the hammer, we gotta bring it back to him. Alright, here we go. And, oh, see, she will auto, uh, Lucky will automatically vault over things if she can. You can also just press the button, too. So we go to Dad. Hey, Dad. And Dad here, I've got the hammer. That's my girl. Thanks, Lucky. Now I can get back to work. Uh, except I just realized I've also misplaced the box of nails I was going to use. Really? Hammer and nails? You've totally misplaced these. Oh, Dad, I can get them for me. You can understand why spring cleaning has been, like, several springs, because this guy forgets to do things. I think I had them with me when I went to the train station this morning. All right, so he's run all over town, but he's just forgotten everything. Okay. Here we go. Back on spirit. So, again, it's, it's a series of tasks that you have to do in order to, uh, you know, solve, you know, this puzzle and play this game. So... We're going to keep going. We Again, like I said, we don't need to hop into those circles, but I don't know. I'm just going to do it. So, Miradero. Back to Miradero. And Spirit, his, um, his horseshoes are getting low as we get through here. I don't know why we go this way, but here we go. Train station. All right. Let's hop off. And let's go to Spirit, if we can get close to Spirit, the front here. We're in the wrong... Oh, there we go. Uh, come on. Can I crouch and go the other side of Spirit? Oh, maybe I can. I don't know, I put Spirit in a bad spot. Let's back up. Oh, he's refilled anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I was going to refill his, uh, his uh, horseshoes, but... Anyway, here is the box of nails. Found the box of nails. Great. And we'll just hop back on Spirit. I'm not going to make Spirit ride all over again. I crouched instead of jumped. I'm not going to make Spirit ride again. I am going to use fast travel and go to Jim's house. Arrive at daylight. Bring Dad the box of nails. He's got me running all over the place before I can go look for this treasure. There are lots of things I need to do. All right. Yes, you are. You're home. I don't know why you tell you, you think you're getting close. You are here. All right. Hey, Dad. Okay. Here's your box of nails, Dad. Perfect. Thank you, Lucky. Now I can fix the roof and we won't get any leaks. Great. Uh, hey, uh, Dad, I have a question for you. What is it? Have you ever heard of a place around here called Crow's Nest Hill? Oh, sure. There's a Crow's Nest Hill not too far from Miradero. If your heart, if your heart with treasure you want to fill, first take the road toward Crow's Nest Hill. Wait, what was that? It's a poem your mom used to recite all the time. Let me see if I remember it right. If your heart with treasure you want to fill, first take the road towards Crow's Nest Hill. To cross these frothy waters, you'll need a bridge, and soon after you must climb up a ridge. From the top of a rock shaped like a starfish, by going north you'll follow the path to your wish. Though not as golden bright, this metal here you still could find. Just cross the tunnel to the other side, You'll be closer to the treasure and beam with pride. Then reach for the cloud so fluffy, white and fluffy, though sometimes the climb will feel like a toughy. From all the way up high for the treasure to find far below the sky. Wow, did mom write that poem? I don't know, but she used to recite it for you and you would fall right to sleep. Ah, oh, I wish I could remember that. We have a picture of you taking a nap in her arms right after she recited the poem for you. Seems convenient. Really, I'd love to see that. It's an old fo It's in an old photo album. I just saw it this morning in one of those boxes. All right, All right, so again, looking through the boxes, we are now going to go over here and find the book. That was easy. So, Lucky's photo album, all photos will be kept there. So as Lucky gets to take photos, which I'm getting ahead of myself here, but we have this old family photo. And if you want to see it up close, you know, there we go. That is a nice photo. Um, and 
that's lucky in her mom's arms, and there's Crow's Nest Hill. Okay. And let's get out of here. Now we have to take the photo to Aunt Cora. So Aunt Cora is over here. And I don't think Ruck, Luck, can look at, oh, she didn't jump. Oops, sorry. Jumps right into Cora. So, hello, Aunt Cora. What are you talking to Aunt Cora? Hi, Aunt, Co Aunt Cora. Good evening, Lucky. Look what I found. Ah, yes, my old photo album. Can I borrow this picture? May I, please? She must be a school teacher or something. I don't watch the show, so I'm not sure. May I please borrow this picture, Aunt Cora? Yes, you may, but you should be taking pictures yourself. I used to be a top-notch photographer myself. I like taking pictures. Here, I'll show you how to use the camera. I hardly use it anymore. Really? Wow, that's so nice of you, Aunt Cora. Anything for my favorite niece. Now, let me show you how to take a picture. That's okay, Aunt Cora. I already know how to use it. Hmm. But you know what? I'm just going to tell you how to. She's going to help you. All right. So, Lucky can take photos with the camera. That's the Y button. And we'll look over here, and we'll hit the Y button. She's getting ready to take a photo. Lucky can aim the camera's view. So, we can move things around and aim the a view. Oh, don't be scared, Spirit. We're just taking a picture of you. Spirit relaxes. First, you need to make sure your subject in is in the center of the frame. All right. I see, like so. Yes, really, I already know how to do it. Second, the subject needs to be looking straight at the camera. Spirit is grazing on some grass and not looking at the camera. Here, boy, look towards us. All right, so here comes uh, Spirit. A little close. Third, you have to be at a certain distance from your subject. Right, not too close because it's impossible to focus. And right below where I am, it's, there are things like centered, too close, facing, still. So right now he's centered, he's facing, he's still, but he's too close. Exactly. Whoa, back up, Spirit, you're too close. So Spirit is now too far, moving, not facing. Right now he's centered, but still. And like it says, but also not too far because the subject could get lost in the frame. And Cora says, that's right. Now you went too far, Spirit. Get a little closer. At last, but not least, the subject must be completely still. Because if Spirit moves, he'll come out all blurry. That's exactly right. Spirit, be a sport. Just stand still so we can take your picture. So we're getting, figuring out how to take pictures here. So it's just, a, you know, basically a little tutorial. Try and relax, boy. Just think of a big, juicy apple. Lucky can take photos once she's happy with the framing. So hit Y, take the picture. And now we have a picture of Spirit. And we'll take the photo over to Aunt Cora. Amazing, look, Spirit, you came out so handsome. I must say, I'm very impressed with my teaching skills. You took a very good first photograph. But I told you, I already knew how to do it. What was that? Never mind. Thanks for teaching me, Aunt Cora. I hope you enjoy the camera. Thank you, I will. Now, can, I mean, may I borrow this photo of Crow's Nest Hill? Yes, you may. Okay. So now we have the photo, great. And now we are at the next point here, a new quest. Let's take a look here. What is galloping on? Talk to Abigail and Prue in Miradero and ride to Crow's Nest Hill. So this starts our adventure into the game. And this is probably where I'm going to stop. This gives you an overview of like how the game is played and then it's up to you to continue on with the adventure. I think this would be a fun game uh, for kids who are fans of the show Spirit, because it's like playing an episode, which is really cool. Um, pretty simple with the controls and also some nice visuals. I think it looks really good for a uh, like cartoon uh, there. So let me just, yeah, aim up here. Uh, so you got everything. Um, so, you know, good visuals. And I think overall, uh, will be a fun game for kids to play and i think they really will enjoy this uh, i'd like to thank outright games for giving me a promo code of this game um spirit lucky's big adventure a lot of fun you find it on pc on uh xbox one on ps4 and on the nintendo switch and it's out right now and you can find it. i'll put a link down below to where you can get it Anyways, Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Ben Spark, Facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures, and you can find me here making videos all the time. Thanks for watching.